Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. That's right, here we are, here we go. I'm alive, maybe. It's Thursday. Where's the road? There's the road, there's the couch. There's the couch in the road now, look at this. Boing. Um, oh, <laughs> Carl Sr., you're backed up. You're stuck behind the globe. Need some help? Let's get him out. Let's get him out. There you are. There. There you go. Oh. Ah, da da. In the box too. Carl Senior getting buried. I think I did that. I buried you back there. Like, like you're nothing. Just like a thing. Gotta treat your inanimate skeletons with respect. Oh, where's my water? It's over here. My friends out there in TV land, thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. You know, maybe I should have uh, I planned things. And I uh, sat down here and I was like, get in here, I'm gonna do this thing, get the pizza, get the tapes, get the numbers, all this stuff going. But then he forget about the forgot to do the content part, which is maybe I'll do it soft, you know. I guess all that other stuff is uh, in support of this part, which is your whole life. I mean, what, is your, what are you doing? Like, one part of your life is in support of another part of your life. Are we trying to make a difference in the future? We're we trying to survive. How can we? What are, what are good things happen to bad people? And who's who's deciding on who the people are bad and good? Maybe. Maybe good things don't happen to bad people, and the people who are having bad things happen to them are bad people. You think you're good and bad, who's to say? People seem like they're good, and bad things happen to them, but maybe that makes them bad. Maybe they have secrets. Good people. Good things are happening to me. So I must be good, right? Except these things. The good things are happening to me. Pizza, indoors, relaxing. Just doing this kind of thing. Keep thinking about that woman who was stuck in the dip, which was like a few weeks ago now. But. I was walking over there to Old School Pizza, this was like a month ago, and there was the dip, and there was the old woman in the dip, and stuck in the wheelchair, just screaming uh, in general, and not for help, just going like, ah, and I was like, do you need help? And then, you know, pushed her out of the dip, and, and I was like, this, this woman needs more help than just this dip push. Like, she appears to live out of the wheelchair itself somehow. Oh. It appears that you don't have a place to go. And that you're, she was like, maybe 70. It's hard to tell, I guess, because people age differently when you're living in an alley. Out of a wheelchair and 
screaming for help. Maybe it makes you aged more, but whatever it was, she looked 70. Push her out of the dip. And then, so here you go. You're out of the dip. And then walked away while she was yelling still. And I didn't take her home. I didn't give her half of my income forever. Hey, uh, here's a, hello, lady. I'm going to promise you half my income forever, OK? I would like to help you a little bit. Um, but then, what do I have? Uh, it's like, oh, I'll give you everything I have, but I don't have a whole lot. Others have more. I should go try to get that money so I could give it. You got to get to give, you know? You can't give what you don't have. Would I? I already do have more than them. And you have to give until you don't have any more. But you got to take care of yourself. Or something. Do you? Do I? Do I take care of myself? People could live in this room, but you're not supposed to. But people could live at the mall, you know, like how I'm in. I'm not doing all I can to help this person. But then I'm going to help that person and everybody else. They didn't help themselves. What, what got them to that point? I don't know, but I'm walking around seeing them around still. So, weird times. That was like a month ago, though. Yesterday, I was here at the studio, um, kind of in the afternoon. Uh, early afternoon. Um, was it the early afternoon? My brother was here. Because we went to the shopping. Did that shopping thing. And then went to the market. And we came over here. Talking to Yoko a little bit. While he was being antisocial. I was, uh, uh, I don't know what else. My brother was here talking to yellow fellow. I don't remember it all, really. Listen to some other messages, maybe. Um, it was me and the early though. After. Um, Some weird noises out there. What's going on? After the uh, the program, me and my brother got into the car and we went and checked on the bleach. My brother had spilled bleach on his favorite shirt. Went back to the market to check on the bleach, and the bleach was a little bit open. The car kind of smelled like bleach a little bit. Driving home in the bleach smell. But I did make it home, but then I was done for the day, kind of earlier than normal, which is a weird feeling. So we didn't have much to do. So I went to the duty, watched some TV. Uh, I should start reading, but I finished my book. I was reading that Forrest Gump book. I finished that book, um, and It's difficult for me to start a new book. It's a bit of a commitment. And so I could just watch garbage television. Or things I've already watched. Just trying to get through it, I guess. I did go to Goodwill last night too. I had extra time, so I'm like, I'm gonna drive myself to the Goodwill. And I, uh, I went there and I didn't get anything. And then I went back home. What would I get? I kind of want to get an old PC. That's what I'm looking for now. I'm on the lookout for a 20-year-old PC. 
10 to 20 years old. So I made it back home though. Went to Goodwill, made it back, I didn't buy anything. Basically just drove, drove around. Um, and I'm staying up too late and I'm watching some of these, I'm watching this true crime documentary show on the um, TV there called My Worst Roommate or something like that, where the show is just people who have had um, murder, <laughs> mur people, their roommates, who they ended up living with, and they turned out to be crazy murderers. And then you watch the whole show, and you're like, yep, this person is murdering people. And then they got in trouble or not. The end. I'm like, oh, that's not fun. Not, not a pleasant thing to think about. And I, why did I do that? Why did I do this to myself? Uh, so, yeah, it's like here's a story of tragedy and evil, and depravity and tricks. But they were tricking people into, like they, you know, these people let people into their home, and then they started tricking them and doing stuff. But uh, if you're well, I guess if you're aggressive enough, you can just do like legitimate things and pl find a place to live and get money and, and have a, have a uh, purpose or whatever. But if you don't want to do that stuff, you just want to go and live somewhere, you'd start doing it. And you could live somewhere for months or years or maybe even just start living a crazy lifestyle for years, racking up debts, not paying your debts, scamming, uh, Stealing, lying. You know, you could just lie. Most people just, I mean, why would you not believe them? I would believe people just go someplace and you say, uh, hey, what are you doing in there? And you say, I have important business in this. Like, I don't know what you want to do. I mean, if you want to go to the, uh, the movie theater and you don't want to pay the money, but really, I think you should get the money ahead of time and then you can go to the movies with money. You can just like walk into the movie theater and say, and like, no, you don't talk to the people, just walk in and go see a movie and you'll pay for it. But really what you should do is uh, go lie to uh, investment bankers or something. Say, I'm, I would like to sell this property that I own. And then you, uh, you sell the property, you don't even have it, and, you, and you've just sold something you don't even have. And then you get the money from that, and then you go spend it on all the movies and whatever else you want too. There's no reason to steal small things when you can steal big things and then leverage those big things into smaller crimes. So if we get arrested for uh, just shoplifting, but they should be, the shoplifters should get the, the money from other means. So they can just put it on credit cards or something. Uh, get your credit card, start putting stuff on your credit card and then don't pay for it at the end of it. And you have uh, shoplifted without getting in immediate trouble. And then you can just lie and steal and be a, a you know, general pariah for years. And then maybe somebody will notice eventually, but you could do it. But then again, are we, who, who's not a pariah? I'm trying to help somebody in society. That's what I was thinking about. I'm gonna help that lady, because I'm a pariah. I guess I'm not a, a maybe a, a documentary evil, level evil, but am I helping anybody? People are getting exploded. I'm not actively exploding anybody. That's something that I'm doing. I mean, what else can you do besides not actively wrong do's, doings? Um, I think I'm not doing any actively wrong doings, but maybe, you know, just by, uh, by, by functioning in society, we are doing actively wrong things. It's, it's hard to navigate and it's not getting any easier. Let me tell you, viewers, good times, huh? Um, maybe I should think of some more entertaining topics for myself, not for you, just to, to be in my mind. Like, hey, maybe uh, levity for my own, my own sake. 
Not like I'm trying to be uh, more uh, light here. But maybe in, in general, I could be doing that. Uh, I don't even remember what I was watching yesterday. Uh, other than that, I watched this show about the murder show. Probably something else, too. I uh, watched that uh, action action park thing, too, on TV. But that was last night, and then today I woke up and ooh, you know, slept in a bit. Tomorrow I think I'm going to try to wake up early. I uh, slept in a bit, and I'm going to go to bed early, wake up early tonight. But I went to uh, the park around 4 or 5 o'clock and did some laps. Only two laps. I walked about four miles, three or four miles. Um, what's going on at the park? You know, same old park. Maybe I should go to a different park, too. There's plenty of parks to go to. I've been going to the same one and doing the laps. It's been about a month since I started doing it, but I didn't do it very consistently. But, uh, oh, timer. Oh, now I'm going to go over here and start with the pills. I should be eating these pills at a more consistent time also. I'm eating whenever I'm here. It could be like day or night. It's hard to tell. Okay. Let's see who's on these voicemails. Uh, Yellow fell left a few. Hello. Um, I'm waiting. For Jet to come pick me up. Uh, I'm going to the DMV. Yo, fellas, calling. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, Hi. how are you? Hi. Good, how are you? Good. I just uh, completed couch time. I just sat down to um, start eating pills and missing your messages. All right, well, let's uh, take a listen then. Oh, yeah, you want to hear it? Yeah. All right. Hey, Annie. Hi. I'm um, in the McDonald's drive through with Jet, and the woman in front of us is trying to order um, breakfast, but... They haven't had done that. It's not time. available. She asked them. Yeah, I know. It was a weird tease. She why. When they stopped doing that. Uh-huh. What? She, asked, they asked she asked them why. Check it here. She has a window. Because of virus times. <laughs> in which they say. In her, she, she, she asked them like, when did you stop doing breakfast? Wait, didn't they? But didn't they used to do breakfast all day? They did for like like half a year and then the pandemic hit and then they stopped it again. Yeah. Yep. Have you seen that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll pause your message. Have you seen that movie Falling Down? Um, does it have a, it has Leonardo DiCaprio and all that? No, that's, uh, it's got Michael Douglas. No, what's that about? Buddy? Oh, oh, oh. Is that where he plays the McDonald's CEO? No, that's the founder. That's Michael uh, Keaton. Oh, right. Well, what's Falling Down? But he goes, he goes and... To, uh, it's not it's not McDonald's, but it's it's like a McDonald's analog, and he wants breakfast, and it's like lunchtime, and he's got a gun and he's mad and he's like, why can't you just make the breakfast? Don't you have the food back there? You don't have the food, right? <laughs> um, oh, that sounds good. It is pretty popular, but they had uh, they were doing McDonald's for breakfast like all day, like like Jet said. Well, yeah, yeah, I remember that starting too. And everybody was like, wow, but then yeah, then the virus times. So they couldn't, um, they, they stopped doing it. So they like went back on it and they're like, no, we're back to the other way. Uh, right. And that's lame. Yeah, it is lame. It's kind of weird, like weird things. Like also like that year, like in fall of that year here in my town, they made the bus free. Did they? So I paid for the bus for years and I was paying like, I was buying like the monthly pass. Yeah. Which was like maybe like thirty dollars a month or something. And oh uh, they made it free and I was like, Wow, free bus I could even go to make it up all the way up to uh Tacoma for free. Which is like the next town over. 
And I was like, I'm going to ride the bus so much more, even though I was already riding the bus. And then the virus time. Now you have a car. Now I have a car, but then it's like, oh, now you have to stop riding the bus because the bus is, is dirty or something. Mm. Um, so I didn't get to have that. Now I have a car, so. Uh, car. Yeah. All right, here's, here's your message. McDonald's breakfast is the only reason I would really eat good. There's not Matt show really good at McDonald's for Taco Bell breakfast. Jet says he likes. What are you going to eat, sausage? Taco breakfast, and he likes Burger King breakfast. I don't know. Um, but we're next in line here. Jet, pull up. Pull up. What kind of breakfast After would you eat? Bottled orange juice. Hello, I'll be with you in one moment. No problem. Okay, so they said they're going to be with us in one moment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But maybe I do want a sandwich. Alright, so sorry about that. I can take your order when you're ready. Uh, no problem. Uh, could I get the, uh, the 4C, the deluxe crispy chicken sandwich? Yeah, I just... no problem. Medium or large? Oh, just the sandwich? Oh, no problem. Alright, it's not getting um, off the, the volume the, uh, anymore. Large Coke. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, large unsweet tea. Sorry, what was that? Uh, and a large unsweet tea. Okay. Anything else? Um, and an, a six-piece chicken nugget, please. A six-piece chicken meal, you said? Oh, uh, just a nugget. Alright. That's it. What sauce would you like with that? Uh, honey mustard, please. No fries, huh? Alright, and Nope. Else? That'll be all. Alright, then we're going to come to 1259 at your first window. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, that's okay. interesting that you get the whole guys. Yeah, crispy. Crispy chicken and chicken nuggets. Right. It's like two two sizes of fried chicken. Uh, it seems like they've upgraded their chicken quality over the years. You think so? Yeah, they have like different types of chicken sandwiches now. Oh, hey, Jet. Is it time to go? We were just... Jet, here, you're, talk to Kenny for a second. He was just listening to you go to McDonald's. Yeah. You're waiting for a ride? Hey, Kenny. Hi, Jay. How are you? I'm pretty good. How is your so what do you usually get at McDonald's? I always get the value menu stuff. Like, I get, like McDouble, McChicken, like the dollar yeah, stuff. That's, that's smart. They probably have, like, the like the most filling options for a dollar. Yeah. They got any, any of the fast food places. I like so. the dollar menu. I was going to McDonald's a lot, and I was calling McDonald's a lot in the past, so... McDonald's, I'm kind of connected to McDonald's. I feel connected to McDonald's. Uh, I, I used eating, to get McDonald's, like, way too much. Like, I would, yeah, get way too much. I was eating it yesterday. Sorry, what'd you say? I was eating McDonald's yesterday, actually, while we were listening to your messages. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that was just because we were out, and there was one right there. So. Yeah. Well, you didn't get a yeah, burger. John just got an unsweet and iced tea. Yeah, on sweet and iced tea. You didn't get a burger or fries at McDonald's. Nah, I got a chicken sandwich and Chick some chicken nuggets. Chicken sandwich. You got two kinds of fried chicken pieces. Yeah, I was in a chicken mood, I guess. I don't know. I, when I when I used to go, like when I was like, you know, stupidly bad, I would get six McChickens and a double quarter pound of cheese. Oh, my God. Yeah, right. You ate all that? It's, oh, yeah, easily. And I would, every time I did it, I would want another burger but that's so many that's yeah. so much i couldn't even handle that yeah it's a i probably shouldn't eat that much food but you know like i i don't know my my young my younger metabolism still lets me do that and not weigh like 300 400 pounds so uh, you don't weigh 300 pounds at the time that's so many, that's like a lot of bread yeah that's like, i don't know i just like eating a lot of food it's enjoyable for me for whatever yeah. reason but it's like, it's like um, four, you said four McChickens and a, and, and a quarter pounder? Yeah, it's like six McChickens and a double quarter pounder, yeah. I mean, just imagine all that bread. That's like a loaf of bread. Oh, yeah, it's mostly bread. Like, it's ridiculous. It's a lot of bread. But, um, yeah, but, I mean, the place the place we work, I mean, like, they make, like, a stromboli, but it's, like, it's like it must be between, like, three and five pounds of food, like, each one. And, I mean, I'll, I'll eat a whole one of those, like, no problem. Uh, so. You work there? Yeah, I, I, I bartend in John John Waiters. Okay. okay. So. But Mary Beth does not work there? I'm sorry, what do you say? Mary Beth doesn't work there? No, no, no. She, she's, she's still going to college. She's 
gonna be like a photography major. You don't need to go to college for that. Well, no, but <laughs> but she uh she gets a pretty good deal because her mom works at the college, so she gets like it's it, it's really inexpensive for her. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so as it, as it should be for everybody, you know, like I don't know. Uh, you know, should have to pay like shit tons of money just to go to school. Yeah, yeah. I'm always asking. Yeah, I fellow with a strawberry is. What's the difference between a strawberry and a calzone? Yeah, yeah. The, so the, the difference is uh, that the stromboli is like folded with the stuff already inside it, and then baked with all the shit inside it. But the calzone is just folded. The calzone is just a pizza. It's like a regular pizza, and then you fold it. Yeah, 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 and then stick it in the oven. But like the stromboli, you actually like wrap. Well, so the stro the, the stromboli that's the, that's is, is, is is flat when you cook it. It's flat, and then you roll it after it's hot. No, 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 no. Like so, you take all the ingredients and you put it in the pizza, and then you you seal the top of the pizza. Like you you fold it all in, so that it's like a big bundle of food. While like a calzone, you flip. Like you just it's like a taco pizza basically. So just the seal makes the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just the way it's, yeah. The, the stromboli's folded, and then the whole thing's put in the oven and baked, like as a whole thing. And all the, I don't know, the moisture's kind of sealed inside, while the calzone, like, it's just flipped. And there's usually holes on top of the calzone to let all that stuff out, all the moisture out. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, this is the most interesting discussion ever. Oh, I want to hear about it. <laughs> I'm interested. Calzone. And are you, <laughs> are you gonna drop him off at jail? Yeah, uh, probably. I don't know. Like, I mean, like, I drop him off everywhere else, so <laughs> yeah. I'll probably, I'll probably, I'll probably be the one to take him to jail. You know, like. Yeah. How do you think he's gonna do in there? I think. I mean, I think he'll be fine, but. Yeah, it's yeah, only jail. It's him. not prison. Like, I, you know, there's like prison and jail. Like, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I've never been to jail, so I don't well, know. Well, I think, is. like, jail is just like the city jail. I don't even, like, I don't know if they're going to even, like, put them in the, the orange jumpsuits and stuff. Yeah, he'll, he, I, I think he told me that he's going to get his own room and everything, so, like, I, I don't think he, I think he'll probably have a pretty decent time as long as he, like, gets a book or something that he can occupy himself. I told him he should learn how to play chess in his head. But, yeah, you can do a lot of things in your head to just write instead of reading. I don't do a, lo a lo whole lot of things anyway. Maybe, I mean, it's probably a little dirty. I, I'd be more, it's like virus times and stuff, but um, probably not going to be too bad. I mean, it's not like going to help anybody. I don't know why why they're going to do that. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know why, but I mean, like, I, I don't know. I mean, he keeps saying they got to punish him somehow, so, you know, like... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it should be like money, but then I guess if you're rich enough, then you could just. Buy, well, you can already do that, right? You could you could have paid a fine instead of going to jail. No, I don't. I don't think you could have. No, I think like I don't think you could have paid to not go to jail because, like that's I think that's just with like a like a bail and stuff. Like I think he's I think he's got to go because he's got to he's got to go. I think. Mm. Like, and I. I, I, it's a, honestly, from what I've read online, like he's getting a pretty good deal with like four days. Like that's that's pretty good. Like they want you to serve like six months. So oh. like they could have sentenced him, sentenced him to like up to like a year, I think. So and um, so everybody at your job knows knows about it, right? He's gonna be like he had to, like request time off for work. Yeah, well, I mean, everybody knows about it, but like he doesn't tell anyone anything. So like. All the, like, all the women that he works with, like, I'll, like, they didn't even know he would, he had stopped driving. Like, the other day I said something about driving him home, and he, like, looks at me all weird, and I'm like, oh, like, like, what, like, you haven't told them yet? Like, <laughs> yeah. But it's a request I'm off for work. You're like, you, 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 do you have a time request off sheets? No, no. You just, no, no. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to get off of work here. Like, we have to, like, ask our other employees to work for us, and then it's up to us to figure it out, so... But he got his he got his shifts covered for jail. I don't know. Hey, they'll figure something out for him. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, I gotta ask for some time off for a vacation <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like the bosses know that he's gonna go to jail for a couple of days and he's gonna be off. But <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it's a bar. You're working at a cool bar. That so kind of stuff, though. Lots of booze. Um, what are you what are you doing now? You're picking him up. Where is he? Oh, he's 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 in, he's here. He's sitting here. Uh. 
I, I just got done with work, so I'm waiting for my boss because we don't like to leave somebody. Apparently, so her, her, her dad, who owned the restaurant, apparently one time he was here by himself in the restaurant, and then he walked outside, and some dude tased him and stole all the money off of him. Oh. So, so now we, now we, um, like somebody stays with the whoever's like the closing manager till they leave. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting on her. They're like gonna do a drop. Sorry, what? They're gonna go do the drop, like the bank drop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is just the normal, like, uh, just like the closing, whatever the fuck she's doing. Heck, Have heck, you... she's doing. Am I allowed to curse? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Just making sure. You ever seen the show before? Yeah, yeah, I've seen the show, but I don't know. I haven't paid attention, like, if like people are cursing or not. Honestly. <laughs> Mr. Ginsu curses up a storm. Like... Sorry, what? Some people curse a lot. Oh yeah, like uh, Mr. Mr. Ginsu is Mr. that it? Ginsu, I, I that's I, right. Yeah. I, I watched. I watched last night because I, I wanted to. I wanted to hear me and John's convers uh, weird McDonald's conversations. Oh yeah, I, so, I I just played that one today, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you played the other ones? I uh, didn't, I only listened to about half of the messages yesterday. Like, he he. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. I mean, it's just me and John like talking talking in a car. It's good though. I like I like that. You can leave messages. He's leaving like eight messages, and I listen to him over a couple of weeks because like very few people are leaving messages, and I'm doing. Really. I mean, I. <laughs> but I mean, you know, he likes to. That's good. He, he loves to call and leave, but he leaves me messages too. So. Oh yeah. What? You're, yeah. You're, you're invited to leave messages. Also, if you if you want to. Um. I will. I, I maybe I will. That's have you seen uh, Falling Down? What? Have you seen the movie Falling Down? No, I've never seen no Falling Down. No. Yeah, with Michael uh, Douglas. Michael Douglas. Um, like, but it's like he he get he's like a, a regular guy, and then he, he gets mad, and then has a gun, and does crazy things, and he goes to McDonald's. Or it's not McDonald's, but like fake McDonald's, and then he wants breakfast, and then he's mad they won't give him breakfast. That's cool. I, Kenny, I was a little bit mad at you. Why? Because you you ruined Usual Suspects for John, and that's one of my favorite movies. I did. And yeah, and then he and then he fell asleep during it. I don't so I don't I was, think I could have. Re I don't really remember the movie too well. Well, like uh, the whole like the the whole like Kevin Spacey is the is the killer thing is like the apparently what you told him and then like that's, that, that's the whole movie basically. It was honestly. true. Oh, it's boys. I, so I, I wasn't sure though. <laughs> now honestly, like that's like the whole like that's the whole reveal. Like that's the whole that's the whole movie right there. Like honestly, <laughs> it seemed. I mean, but, it's like se seven. Seven. You know the movie Seven? seven? No, I, I'm not really a huge movie guy. Like I watch oh. movies. No, what is no John? John's being weird at me that I haven't seen Seven. Should it? John says I have to watch it now. Yeah. Well, Kenny, you should tell me all about the movie to ruin it for me. <laughs> John's gonna be mad if you ruin it, so you should. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Spacey. It's Kevin Spacey. Okay. Again. That's how, his... how do you feel about like watching Kevin Spacey's movies now that uh? Cancel know, culture. Like, um. Little, but like, how do you feel about it? Like. Well, my favorite Kevin Spacey movie, like I don't, it was Seven. Um, I don't know what else he's even in that I've seen. I haven't seen. Have you ever seen K Pax? No. That's... I haven't seen K Pax. Um, I, I, maybe I saw the usual suspects, but in seven he plays a psychopath murderer. Hmm. And, well, and, and wasn't he in that, uh, like the House of Cards show or whatever, too? I never watched that either. I, I haven't either, but I just, I don't know. That's what he's in. Yeah, like, I don't know what that one's he, about. I don't know. I, I'm still like I'm good with watching whatever he's in. Like I don't. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna watch anything new that he's in. But like, I, you know, old work is old. I was a big fan of um, R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> well, I, I, never, I don't know. I, now. Honestly, I, mean, I could not even name an R. Kelly song other than like I believe I can fly. Well, what about tra you never saw Trapped in the Closet? No, I, I, I'm like. I'd, I'd like again. That's the only song I know. Oh well, I I I was a big fan, and he was pretty nasty before. I mean, he was 
he was nasty and they already, he was like doing bad stuff, like blatantly. And everybody kind of yeah. knew it, but it was okay to be a fan because there was no court or something. I don't know why it was okay back then, but it just was. Well, I mean, it's, it is crazy just because like, uh, I mean, like everybody apparently knew about the whole Bill Cosby thing and we're making jokes about it for years. And like, I watched a compilation of like all the Spanish fly jokes he's told, told over the years and there's just dozens. Like, mm. it's like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, not dozens, but there's there's a lot. Like yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. yeah. It was in his know. albums, it's right? Yeah. It's, it's a culture that's in that place. Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it was like a big. I mean, Scrap the Closet was kind of a cult classic, even among everybody to me. And uh, no, we are not even supposed to talk about it. Well, that'll be John one day. We'll find something horrible about John. John yeah. killed like seven people, probably. Cancel culture? And, like. Sorry, what? Are you thinking he's gonna get cancel culture? Yeah, like I, I think uh, you know when we're gonna find out John like killed seven people or something, and then uh, that's you know. And then you can't watch like, the program. He, he's definitely done something horrible, you know, like you know. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Hey, so I'm sorry, Kenny. I I gotta go. I, I've had a long night. I, I'm right. gonna hand you back to John. Okay. okay. Thanks for talking to me, though, man. Thank you. It's always fun. Here he is. Oh, shit. Having problems. Hello? Hello, Jet. Jet thinks you're a mirror. Yeah, Jet doesn't think too fondly of me, I guess. <laughs> you're getting off of work? What? Yeah, well, we're waiting for our boss. Hmm. Yeah. You ever been tased? Yeah. Have you ever been tased? No, I'm kind of curious though. Have you ever been on a left back? Um, Kenny, I have to tell you about this deal I have. Mm hmm. And I'm wondering if it works in my favor or not. But I'm a relatively like good tipper at this cafe I always go to. Okay. And this, there's always, there's usually like the same barista who's always working. And I'll get like, I'll usually linger there for a few hours because it's like a comfy environment where you can kind of just hang out if, for like the day if you want. And um, it's like go on your computer, use the Wi-Fi, all that. And I'll get like I'll get like a cappuccino, I'll get like a salad, I'll get soup, I'll get tea. And then when I'm when I go up, she'll like always deduct a few things. So I think in her, yeah, you know, like you know, she's getting. It's benefiting her because I'll give her a larger tip because she's taking things off the menu. I think I'd end up spending more money if she didn't take them off anyway. Does that make sense? Wait, I think I just confused myself. But so basically, you're just giving money to her instead of the yeah, restaurant. So she, she's playing the system a little bit. But I think I'm probably paying a little bit less, even though I'm tipping her a little bit more because she's doing that. Overall, you're paying less. I think so. Well, I mean, of course, <laughs> that's all a waste of money in general. Going out? Yeah. yeah. But it's fun. Like, I feel, I'm like friends with the people there now. I mean, I are this, you is, this is where you and me differ <laughs> about this stuff, about uh, relations with, uh, like, being uh, friendly with people who are serving you and all that, you know? Yeah. yeah. I don't like I feel it. weird about all that. I don't want to be their friend. I've, I'm, I'm not their friend. They, they want money. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they're just tricking me really hard? I mean, it's not. It's not a trick necessarily. It's. It's kind of society's trick. I guess so, but I'll just. I mean, it's different than if I go to like a diner and there's a small talk with a waitress. Like I'll actually talk to the people who work there and like have conversations. Like. And they'll let me like wait while I like call a ride and stuff yeah. after closing and I stuff guess like it's, that. You know? Yeah, it's a cafe. It's not like a restaurant necessarily, but we both worked at restaurants and, um, you know, I don't like the loiterers at least at my restaurant. Nobody liked them. And we're always just like waiting for them to leave, and then they're like, oh man, this, the friendly person's coming back again. Right. Like. Well, but, it's different when someone's like encouraging that it, encouraging you that it's fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. But they, I mean, she's like, she's kind of stealing from the place she's working at, maybe. 
I think that's kind of what's happening, right? Yeah. yeah. But then you're, it's like, you're not yeah. trying to get a value out of them. Like, but sorry, Jets, wait, what'd you say? You're not trying to get, like, value when you're going there. You're spending money. You're willing to spend the money, and you're giving her the money. Um, so she's, like, so she's robbing me, too. Well, she, she's taking from the restaurant, and the restaurant already makes a lot of money anyway. Right. At that point, what even is money? Hmm. <laughs> like, what is money? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It starts getting confusing. Um, oh man. Well, hey. What's uh what'd you have for breakfast? Uh let's see, I'm trying to remember this morning even. Curry. I, my brother works at my brother works at the farmers market at a restaurant with curry and I ate the curry. For breakfast. And Andrew they, works at a restaurant now? Well, it's not a restaurant. It's like a... He works at the farmer's market where they... It's kind of a restaurant. I thought he works in like a factory. He has two jobs. Oh. Okay. But I ate some of the curry from his side gig for breakfast. Was it good? It was pretty good. And I did the walk. Uh... Maybe I should be eating. It was spicy. What did you eat for breakfast? I had, um, what did I have for breakfast? I woke up and I had some coffee. And I usually will start the day with coffee and water and, you know, those emergency packets? Yeah. I'll, I'll put that in the water. I drink iced coffee. You make and it? ice water with the packet mixed in. And then I'll take some vitamins. Um, and then I'll get like, well, well, this morning, it usually is different, but I had a granola bar. Well, it wasn't really a granola bar. I think this, it's called Kashi or something, the company, or Kashi, Kashi. And it's literally just Kashi, and the bar is literally just dates and nuts, like peanuts. Uh, like, How's it held together? You know, yeah, it's all together. But the dates keep it together. Mm. What is dates? Like and, grapes? Uh, it's really just two ingredients. Oh, no, no, I think it's cashews. It's dates and cashews. Yeah. What, are, what, is what is dates? Date? Like grapes? It's a fruit? What is a date? How would you describe a date, Jet? Uh, fruit. A fruit? And what? Um, Kind of like a fig. Kind of like a fig. Kind of like a fig. Like a raisin. So it, it, kind of like a raisin? It, kind of like a raisin? Maybe. Maybe not. You know what? Yeah, like the middle of a fig newton, kind of like that. Fig newton? I don't. I never had. I guess it's a bind. It's a bind. So it's a binding. A date could be a binding agent. Is what we're like, finding out. If like jelly. All the bark together. I never had a fig. It is a, binding, had a fig it, it is a binding agent. What is a binding agent? Uh, no, the, the we're saying a date is a binding agent because it keeps this bar together. Yeah. That I eat for breakfast. I don't think I've ever had fig newtons before. Um, a fig newton is. I like a fig newton. Yeah, I I've like. I've seen them on newton. TV. What was it? It was like they, there was some advertisement in like the nineties. Or something. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, what was that? What did they say in the advertisement? I don't know what the advertisement was, but that's one of those foods that I don't like to eat because I feel like they're ultra processed. Like, yeah, like so many preservatives and weird stuff in them. They're like, hey, what? Like, I'll you... look at the what? I want to. I'm trying to remember the advertisement. For yeah. Fig, fig I had a um. There's a um. My first moved out this way. I like first moved back to like, like, or move to my mom's out in this area. Um, she, my stepdad has like this neighbor who comes over and hunts and I was talking to him. Uh, and he said that his daughter used to work for the FDA. And that was it. That's a food. Food and drug administration. Drug, yeah. Food, yeah. And he said that his daughter quit because of all the lies that they were pumping out about products. Uh, like she couldn't take it. They were lying? 
They were lying, yeah. Why would the Why FDA lie? lie? Uh, so they can just pump out products. If there's like something that's a little irregular, it's like, oh, well, it'd be easier to just put it on the shelves anyway, you know? But what does the FDA have to gain from that? Blood? Well, no, like, it, yeah, I mean, you, people are putting money into each other's pockets, you know? It's like, hey, just turn your, uh, turn your gaze away from this one and let us sell it, you know? Yeah. I don't think it's any secret that if you just eat, like, stuff from the farm, that you'd probably be better off. Huh? I don't, it's not a secret that if you didn't, that if you didn't eat things that came in a bag that were unrefrigerated, that you'd probably be healthier. Right, but I mean, there's varying degrees to like how successfully you can have a safe enough processed food or not. You know, like you can have something that is doing more harm to a general population of people than yeah. other, you know. It's not going to make you sick. Out. You can't be sick from it in general, but uh, all that stuff also makes it so that people have food to eat. If it wasn't for all that processed food and all that GMOs and craziness, and there would there would just wouldn't be enough. Oh, we don't die, right? Yeah. That's true. I never really thought about it like that. And my phone's beeping at me because I think it's dying. All right, I'm gonna record a message to the future. Hey, right, wait, texter, you have your own phone. Hey, future, it's oh. us the past. Hey, future, we were talking about McDonald's, and Jet is a bartender. And he likes to, he knows things about pizza. Fig Newtons. And Fig Newtons. Bye, Future. All right, bye. All right, bye, Kenny. I'm going to go uh, now. Oh, what day are you getting out of jail? <laughs> I'll let you know. Okay, bye. I'll bye. let you know when I have a better idea. All right, bye. All right, let's call my brother. Or should we call my guitar player? I guess we can do both. We have about 15 minutes left. I guess we talked to him yesterday. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, Heather, Heather was there. It was like a 2018. It's in there. I guess I'll, I'll look it after. Let's call. Leave a name and number and she'll call you back as soon as you can. Thank you. Ranga! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Bye. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, should we look at the last two weeks? Kind of want to look at the last two weeks because we didn't get to it. Um, we didn't get to it last time. I was trying to look at these things. We looked at like the first two weeks, so. So we've been doing. We're gonna go back to today's the third. It's gonna be end of February. I hope I remember. Put myself up here in the corner. When we get to this up, and we'll the last two weeks of the messages. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, I hold your stomach. Even today, I'm doing it. Getting fat. fat. Here's today. Uh, it was yesterday. What the heck? What happened to Wednesday? What day was this? Monday. Sunday. We're going to go back to 
uh, Thursday from a week, two weeks ago. Uh, bombed on Thursday. Thursday. That's one Thursday ago. Thursday. Wednesday. Uh, before Wednesday is going to be Tuesday. Yeah, I think I saw a glimpse of it. Tuesday with Jordan. Uh, Uh-oh, I lost track again. Friday, okay, one more day. I guess two weeks ago was when Phil the cat died. Here's Thursday. Bye, future. Bye. It's us, the past. I got locked out of my car. I put the club on my steering wheel. And then I locked my keys in my job. How far did you walk? You get the job by future. He killed died. Oh my god. I was falling. That was my message to you. What? I, I, I missed that part. What? Well, uh, I had to put him down. Oh, Phil. Well, we're remembering. Uh, sad things, but that was yesterday. I that time and clip worked out pretty good, huh, Future? It's Saturday, Future is us the past, and uh, it's another day listening to some yellow foul messages. It's the afternoon. You park person yet? Parks the cops? Um, sorry, Phil. He heaven. Uh, okay, bye, Future. It's just the past. Hey, future, is it World War Three yet? I hear it's happening uh, now, right now. Ah, it's uh, Sunday. You have a you Yeah, do you, you get in a, a war? Uh, it's just the past. Hey, future, if I'm ever in a lot of pain in the future, maybe it would be better just to die. Maybe that would be. DNR! I got a DNR too. Um, yeah, you also got a hat. Heather and James are missing on Monday. Whoa. I thought they were going to be here. And Mark called. James James should be alive, I hope. Yes. Bye, future. I made some soup and it. Future. It's us the past. Hey. The future. Hi. Getting high in the future. I got the dog here, Patsy. Can you uh, get on the future, Patsy? Aww, Patsy. Here she is. Come uh, here. I don't have any treats. You gotta eat something else if you're gonna eat Burger King. I'm getting a little bit of guts. Particularly obedient Bubble guts. today. Um, Bubble guts. Um, is watching. Um, the future suspects. suspects. Don't ruin it for him. Bye, future. Bye. Bye. It's us the past. We're going to say the future. Mr. Ginsu, we're going to say the future. And Freddy, and Kay, and that. Um, Jennifer. When's the last time you've seen Jennifer? Y'all feel Cut's finger on a, um, Jennifer. Uh, the hand washing thing is, is it going to fall off? Oh. Yeah, maybe one day all yeah, fans of YDHWM can live in a curated uh, community together. Bye, Future. That actually would be pretty cool. Bye-bye. Goodbye. -bye. Yeah, Goodbye. Yeah. The Future. It's us, the past. It's oh, hi, Thursday. past. It's the daytime. Look over there. They're cleaning up all the stuff. Looks like people are hanging out around it. There's a... Uh, Ukraine was bombed on social media. You know, I guess in reality. Yeah, if I walk really far, it's the daytime. He's at the market over there, and we bombed. One week ago, 
Freddie was looking forward to 10 years in 2020. He didn't know. Uh, kid, bye, future. Bye. Yeah, it's a future just the past. Hey, it's uh, Friday, and we're not concerned. Why would you worry? Why would you worry? Are they in the bushes? Oh, oh commies. Are we? I got, uh, I had a sore throat the other day, and it's because of my, I started smoking again. It's horrible. Yep. Bye, future. Bye. It's just the past. Who, now? Yes. Oh, I thought the last one was the past. It's this one. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, that's good. Where's the past? Uh, Mark put his guitar at the garbage can. It's uh, Saturday. We got a call from LA. Freddie's there talking about the war still. Is it over? Is it happening? Are we? Are you looking out? Look out in the bushes. No. <laughs> He said, look out in the bushes twice in one week, huh? The past. It's uh, Sunday. My guy from LA is still calling. I uh, got a burrito from Alberto's. Breakfast burrito. Uh, no, the message is Mr. Gintsu has a fuel injector problem. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, hey, Mr. Gintsu, how's your fuel injector? I discovered him. My future. It's us, the past. Hello, future. Hello. Future. I'm going to jail. Uh, oh. What? It's a wet day out there. What do you say, future, Mr. Gutsu? I like what yellow fellow said. Don't go to jail. No, he's going I to got, jail. I, think I got a leak in my roof and uh, rats in my garage. Oh, oh. Bye, future. Do you finish your book? It's us, the past. Hey, past. It's March. Are you alive? Why is it so warm in the studio? How many? I am wearing a lot of layers. Maybe that's why. Uh, how's the war? How are you? Uh, I don't know. Good work. I'll be Bye, future. Same, huh? Just the past. Um, what do you say, the future? Are you tired oh in the God. future too? What do you say, the future, Heather? You just made me yawn. Hi, future. Bye, Bye. The future. Future, touch oh. the past. Oh, hi, past. Hey, future. We were talking about McDonald's, and Jet is a bartender, and he likes to, he knows things about pizza. Fig Newtons. And Fig Newtons. Bye, Future. All right, bye. All right, bye, Kenny. I'm going to go. Bye. bye. Oh, that was it. Well, <clears throat> let's see. We only have minutes left. I kind of want to call Freddie, the producer. We can find out how the production is going. If he answers, and if he doesn't answer, that'll be a good brick. To get us through the day. Uh oh. So the the, the 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 router is not not great already. It's already struggling. Or maybe it's this thing too. Hi, you've reached Freddy Dober. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any oh, messages oh, oh, oh. at this time. Goodbye. Hey. Hey, Freddy. It's the program. I almost said that it's the past, but it's the, uh, how are you? The, uh, oh, is the, uh, how's the production then going? How's your wraps? How's your roof? Uh, we on at 2 a.m.? The router is getting weird. That's what I was going to say. I was like, rats, roofs, routers. Maybe I oh, got there. Uh, or J Downloader, too. But like the rats, no, the router. The router was working for like a few days. And then it seems to have been 
about as reliable as the old router was. Maybe the solution is to trade the routers every few days, like it means to get the routers are getting tired or something. I don't know why it seemed like it was working and then it stopped working. Uh, who knows what to do about that? Not any problems at my home with the router ever, but am I doing more here with it? I guess kind of like with the live thing, and if it did go out, I'd be able to reset it, but I reset the router here all the time, and I haven't reset the one over there, maybe ever. And I'm watching TV over there. I guess streaming TV is probably more effort than like streaming out than in. I don't know, but the program's over. There's the credits. Oh, you're not even there. Your voicemail was full up anyway. That's okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thanks for watching. It's Thursday. We're on YouTube. 360-364. Call in the message guarantee. Yeah. Why you should be on dot com. Check it out. Humanity, it's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, the baby, the refab, the circle books, most of you, Mark Harper, and South Black Comedy, Rebecca, Mountain Board, North Ambassador, Sun County, Washington State, USA, and viewers, as you're watching, thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.